Hello, this is Alex from the National Weather Service in Pocatello with your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Friday, October 4th. Happy Friday. Taking a look at the main impacts over the next few days, today is really the day when the largest, most widespread impacts are expected. A strong cold front is going to sweep, uh, sweep through Southeast Idaho today. It's going to bring some mostly higher elevation snow showers, some valley rain showers. Uh, there may actually even be some isolated thunderstorms with the, the cold front this afternoon over the upper Snake Highlands. We'll show you that potential on the forecast radar here in a bit. But the other issue today will be the winds. We'll see west to southwest winds in the 25 to 35 mile range with gusts of 45, and that could cause some difficult driving conditions, especially for the north-south routes, and could also cause some blowing dust. Confidence on how much blowing dust there is is medium uh, because some uh, higher than average soil moisture might mitigate the blowing dust stump, uh, some. Still think there'll be some blowing dust as we saw some last Friday with lighter winds. Saturday, breezy and cooler behind the front, but winds should be much lighter than what we're expecting for today. And we'll be seeing a warm up through early next week. Not another chance for strong winds or precipitation until we get all the way out till next Wednesday. So taking a look at your planning timeline, again, uh, mostly minimal impact. There could be some slushes on passes, especially across the Central Mountains and for those passes along the Montana border like Targhee and Monida Pass. Uh, but otherwise, think mostly minimal impacts. Uh, along the Snake Plain, that's where we'll see the wind, the strongest wind uh, with the blowing dust potential. Winds slightly lighter in the Magic Valley, uh, but still strong enough for the wind advisory there. Uh, taking a look at the satellite picture this morning, you can see the spin of the area of low pressure, and there's a cold front connected to that low that's just coming on shore across Washington and Oregon. This is going to move pretty quickly eastward, and believe it or not, by this afternoon, it'll actually cross southeast Idaho, and by, oh, just after sunset tonight, it should cross into Wyoming. So it is on the move. Let's take a look at the forecast radar here for you now. Let's Let's uh, move ahead to fast forward to this morning. One change from yesterday's briefing is the precipitation is forecast to come in just a little bit later, especially across the central mountains here than what we were expecting earlier, two, or two to three hours later. But we still think by 7, 8, 9 a.m. we'll see some light to moderate snow showers across all of the central mountains with some lighter snow showers back towards Island Park and those areas along the Wyoming border, Teton Pass as well, might get into some lighter snow showers. But as we sp step through the day, you can actually see where the cold front is here. So by noon, the cold front's already approaching Twin Falls and Jerome and Sun Valley with snow showers ongoing across all of the central Idaho mountains actually all the way through the afternoon. Notice another line here ahead of the cold front across the far southeast part of the state. And by the time we get into this evening, I wanted to point your attention here to these areas across the upper Snake Highlands. Say uh, along Highway 33 from Sage Junction North, there's the potential for some heavier rain and snow showers uh, with, the, with the frontal boundary as that pushes through. Those thunderstorms might extend all the way down as far as uh, Idaho Falls this afternoon. But again, there could be some briefly heavier snow showers with that line this evening. That'll continue to push eastward overnight. And by the time we get to about midnight tonight or so, all of the rain and snow showers will have ex exited into Wyoming. And that'll close the book on the precipitation with that system. I wanted to fast forward to tomorrow afternoon, Saturday afternoon, there is another chance for some light scattered rain and snow shower activity, mainly near the Montana border. Uh, but again, think that'll be fairly light uh, and shouldn't cause uh, too many issues, mainly less than an inch of snow. Today's snowfall should produce one to three inches across the central Idaho mountains and also for those areas right along the Montana border. Take a look at the forecast wind gusts for this afternoon. Right around noon and just after noon, we'll start to see the winds pick up across the eastern Magic Valley, and those winds will spread with the front north and east through the Snake River Plain. So by the time we get to about 3 o'clock, the leading edge of the stronger winds should be generally right along this line, so they should have come through craters, come through Arco by then, and should reach Idaho Falls by about 3 o'clock. And areas south and west of there will continue to be windy, with gusts uh, actually approaching 45 to 50 miles per hour here in some of these darker red colors. 
The winds will continue into this evening, but they will diminish, especially north of the front. So if we go back, we can't quite see it there in the afternoon, but in the evening, notice there's a, there's a front uh, that should get down to Idaho Falls. That's going to cause that isolated thunderstorm activity that we showed you in the forecast radar. But notice north of the front, we've got some north winds howling down out of the Pacimaroi and Lemhi Valleys and also out of the Divide. So we'll see some stronger northerly winds behind that. But where the two winds meet, where the north wind and where the south winds meet, that's where we'll have some uh, increase in shower activity there. And then winds will die down fairly quickly this evening. So leaving leaving just some gusty winds in those typical spots like Yale, for example, along Interstate 84. For tomorrow, much lighter winds, about 20 miles per hour lighter than compared to Friday. We will see a cool down behind the front. Highs today only getting into the 50s, so about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what we saw for Thursday. Uh, we will see a couple of degrees of warming each day through early next week until we get into the lower 70s by, by Tuesday across the eastern Magic Valley and southern Snake Plain. That will be short-lived, though, because Wednesday we'll see temperatures drop down another 10 to 15 degrees. Wednesday's system looks very similar to tomorrow's system. It'll bring some wind. It'll bring some showers, especially to the higher terrain areas circled there. If you didn't have a freeze, which most of us have already had our freeze for this year, uh, some freezing temperatures for low temperatures are expected both Saturday and Sunday for this weekend. So to summarize, the main impacts are really centered on today with the mountain snow showers, the isolated thunderstorms, and the wind across the Snake Plain in eastern Magic Valley. Again, not expecting any more significant precipitation until Wednesday of next week and another uh, dose of wind as well by, by Wednesday of next week. So that will conclude the briefing for today. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, we welcome those to the phone number or email address you see there. Thank you.